So I'm making a voxel engine and right now I'm not satisfied at its current state. The current one that I have is good, but it's not optimized and it is kind of slow. I mean, the chunk loading is fast, but there's some bugs that say that the chunk is being rendered, but it's not rendered. The code that it's currently at is not really good to look at. It's very messy and it's not well structured. So we're going to redo this. All right, we got our first quad looking pretty good. We got the basic foundation of a Vox engine. Now time to render more. All right, now we have our first chunk. We just converted all the quads into a 32 by 32 chunk. And I think it's really good for performance too. So we can really update it as well as having a larger render distance. Now, one thing about a Vox engine, especially when you have a larger chunk radius is to implement Frustum culling. We have a pretty wide range of chunks. And when I look, the chunks that are in the view needs to be rendered while the chunks that are, are not in the scene don't need to be rendered, producing a significant amount of performance and also rendering much detail towards what is presented in the front. Now, implementing Frustum Culling is actually simpler than what it seems, just as from this article, by the way, of a library that I actually used from GitHub. I will have a link in the description towards it. I have a simple method called is chunk visible. And what this does, it gets the 3D camera on which we are viewing from and then use a method called frustum bounds and passes camera frustum into the parameters along with the planes and then the chunk itself. Now to see what the frustum bounds method actually does, we can see that the chunk X, Y, and Z are being shifted four bits towards the left and then plus eight toward to get the center. This is ensure that the planes are being checked within the frustum bounds is making sure that it's checking within the center point of the chunk. Now, one thing that is very useful for a lot of voxel games or any games in general is level of detail. As you can see right now, we have far away chunks that are actually being rendered with less vertices and indices. So if we take a look by flying up a little bit, we can see there's actually holes in the world. But at the edge of the line, these are ones that are being rendered with less vertices and indices as well. But in this case, the reason why we have holes in the world because we set the count to be very low, which I'll show you in a second. Even if you have terrain, it's very unnoticeable finding these spots far away because since we move closer, they go away once we get close to those chunks, which is very, very suitable. So checking the level of detail for our chunks is actually very easy. What we do, we get the distance between the chunk and the player and we calculate the distance on how far and how much we should send towards it. So as you can see, we actually have three different states of level of detail and these values actually hold the amount of indices that are in these states. So if we go back, it will actually tell the GPU to render with these values, thus producing less indices sent to the GPU. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I know this may seem something a little bit different from my LibGDX videos, but I thought this could be a little bit entryway to what I'm actually currently working on. All right, have a good one.